All right, boys and girls, let's talk about muscles. There are over 600 muscles in the human body. That is a lot of muscles and they do lots of different things. And you've got really large muscles like the muscles in your legs and you've got some really tiny, tiny muscles like one, the smallest muscle is in your ear. Okay, so you've got lots of, lots of muscles that do different things. Now, there are two main categories of muscles, and those are voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles. So your voluntary muscles, boys and girls, those are muscles that you can control. Okay, so you can say, all right, I want to lift something up. I'm going to reach out and grab it, pick it up by moving my arm in an upward fashion. Okay, you are telling your muscles what to do. Those are called voluntary muscles. You can tell them what to do. And then you have involuntary muscles. Those are muscles that your brain tells what to do and you have no control over. Okay, these are muscles that even if you were to tell your body, stop doing these things, it's still going to happen because we don't have any control over it. They are involuntary um, muscles. Now that brings me to the three different types of muscles. Okay, so we've got two categories of muscles and then narrow it down to three different types of muscle. The first type of muscle is called, um, are called cardiac muscles. And your cardiac muscles can be found in your heart. Okay, they line the inside of your heart. And these muscles are responsible for contracting and relaxing your heart. And that's what pumps your blood through your body. So every time that you contract, the, your heart contracts, it pushes blood out to the rest of your body. And then when it relaxes, it fills the cavities of your heart with more blood so that when it contracts again, it can spread that blood out again. So our cardiac muscles are some of those involuntary muscles. We don't tell our body when to beat the heart, okay? Our brain takes care of that for us, okay? So that's not something that we have to think about. So we've got our cardiac muscles, involuntary. Our next type of muscle is called smooth muscle, okay? Your smooth muscle is also involuntary. Um, we can't tell um, these muscles what to do. Um, they just happen. So you can find your involuntary muscles in places like um, your esophagus, which is like your throat, um, your stomach, your intestines, your bladder, um, even your diaphragm, which is, uh, helps your lungs um, to inflate and deflate. Okay, and these muscles um, are going to be important for um, digesting food and swallowing. So we put food and water into our mouth. We chew it using our um, some voluntary muscles, uh, which I'll tell you about that type in just a minute. Um, and then when we swallow, we are no longer telling our muscles to move that food down our esophagus into our stomach. It just happens on its own. What happens is those muscles contract and contract and relax and contract and relax and it pushes that food down towards your stomach. Um, and then it goes through that whole process as it's being digested where our muscles contract and squeeze out all of the nutrients so that our body can absorb it. Okay, so that's an involuntary um, muscle, smooth muscle, okay? And then the third type of muscle is skeletal muscle. And our skeletal muscle are things like the muscles in our arms and our pectoral muscles, our abdominal muscles. These are muscles that control bones, okay? So when we use our skeletal muscles, it's what allows our body to move. So like I was telling you about eating, when we chew, when we're moving our mouth to chew, we are able to voluntarily tell those muscles what to do. And so we're moving bones using those muscles. So as I'm here moving my arms, I'm telling my muscles 
to contract and relax in order to move the bones in my body. And that's what allows our, our bodies to move and to do different things. Okay. So again, skeletal muscles are voluntary muscles. So we've got involuntary and voluntary muscles. Those are the two big categories of muscles. And then we've got three types of muscles, which are cardiac in your heart, smooth in some of your other organs and your digestion system, um, and then skeletal, which attach to bones and allow for movement. Now, a fun fact, you actually have 43, 43 um, bone, or muscles in your face. Okay, 43 muscles in your face. And these 43 muscles, as you move them um, and do different things with them, are what allow our faces to show emotion. Okay, for example, if I'm happy, I'm going to smile, okay, using the muscles around my mouth. And you might notice that my eyes kind of lifted. Um, so if I go back to talking, my mouth is a little bit more relaxed. My eyes are a little bit more relaxed, but when I'm happy, I smile and that changes around my cheeks and around my eyes. All right. So different emotions use different muscles. So I'm going to give you a couple of emotions. I want you to practice. So when I say the emotion, I want you to change your face to what you think that emotion would look like. So let's start with an easy one. Happy. Sad. Scared, angry, how about surprised? Okay, so those different emotions, we use different muscles and those are all skeletal muscles because we're telling our, our muscles what to do, okay? Now, did you know that it takes 17 muscles, 17 out of those 43 muscles to smile? Only 17. That's not that many. And to be make a frowny face to be when we're sad or a little bit upset, it actually takes all 43 of those muscles. So boys and girls, it's easier to smile. So let's do that. Let's smile. Use those 17 muscles. Make those muscles really strong. And maybe let's relax those frowny muscles. We don't want them to be as strong. Okay. Now that brings me to my next point. My last point for the day is um, how we build or, or lose muscle. Okay. The more you use your muscles, the more they build, the stronger they get. Sometimes depending on where they are, the bigger they get, like your arm muscles. The more we use those arm muscles, the bigger they're going to get. Okay. But the opposite happens if we don't use our muscles. So if we don't use our muscles very frequently, we actually go through what's called atrophy. And that's where we lose muscle. Okay, so our muscles get smaller. Now, I'm sure that some of you have um, broken a bone before. And when you, were, when you broke that bone, you had to get a cast. Okay, and what happens in, while you're in that cast is you're not able to use those muscles as much. And so those muscles go through atrophy. So when you get your cast off, say I had a cast that went from my wrist all the way up past my elbow. Okay. And so now my arm is stuck in a position like this. I can't, can't continuously do this. So what's going to happen is when you get that cast off, we have had some atrophy where we haven't been able to use these muscles. And you can look at, you'd be able to look at my arm and see this arm is a whole lot smaller than this one because this arm could still move like this. It could move freely. So I was using these muscles. So these muscles built up, they got strong where I couldn't use these in the cast. And so now I had atrophy, I lost muscle. And so it's not as strong. It's smaller. Now you can uh, fix atrophy just by working out. Okay. Work out those arm muscles and you'd build that muscle right back. Okay. So that's a really cool thing about um, muscles. So uh, by using our muscles, we build muscle. Also by stretching and increasing our flexibility, that can also help our overall muscle health. So over 600 muscles in the body, 
um, and we are going to use some today for our next activity. Next week, boys and girls, we're going to learn about a couple of different types of muscle. We'll probably start with the upper body um, and then go from there. So I hope that you learned a little bit about muscles today, and I look forward to seeing you um, in a little while. Have fun with this next activity, boys and girls.